hello everybody in this video we will learn about internet connectivity issues and we'll see how to optimize the internet connectivity in local system internet connectivity issues internet connectivity issues can be occurred due to several reasons but few common reasons are as follow background applications you can end processes which are not required to optimize the network speed make sure that you are not ending the system processes for seeing the background application processes you can open task manager and under the process tab you can see the processes for more details you can open the resource monitor and in the network tab under the tcp connections you can see which processes are making connections with internet servers you can identify the processes which are not required and end the processes from process tab this will enhance the network speed and optimize the network bandwidth the next most common reason for internet connectivity issue is windows update running in background we can stop the windows automatic updates as shown below open the network connections go to network and uh, internet settings click on change network properties and enable set as metered connection once you enable the metered connection it will stop downloading the automatic updates whenever you require to download the automatic updates you can set it back as disabled and the updates will be automatically downloaded modem issues or low internet speed from isp internet speeds highly depends on network bandwidth from isp and modem conditions in case you find that modem is very old you can replace modem or for the time being try resetting the modem or turn off and turn on the modem check the lan cable if required change the lan cable or for the time being you can try jack in and jack out of the lan cable you can also check the internet speed online using various speed test websites these websites will show you the available downlink and uplink network speed of your system you can open the browser and type in the address and run the test connectivity tool it will give you the downlink and uplink speed of your network if you see that network speed is very low you can raise the concern with isp virus issue make sure that the system is virus free and for checking and removing the virus from system you can run antivirus scan on your system you can also run full scan in windows defender offline scan which comes with windows defender windows security you can run the full scan and it will show the results the next most common reason is browser not updated if you find that browser is not up to date you can update the browser as shown below for example if you are using google chrome you can update the google chrome by clicking on three dot showing at the top right corner of the window and go to help and click on about google chrome then you will find the update window if it is not up to date it will show you the updated version and ask you to relaunch on clicking 
relaunch so it will relaunch the google chrome after some time and with the updated version dns not responding dns not responding is the most common reason for network bandwidth issues you can check whether dns server is available or having ping breaks by pinging the dns server ip address to get the dns server ip address you can get it from the command prompt by running the command ip config all or you can simply open the run and type ncpa.cpl right click the ethernet adapter and open properties select internet protocol version 4 click properties you will get the dns ip under the use the following dns server addresses you can ping the dns server one by one and if you are facing issues with the preferred dns server you can interchange the dns server's ip with alternate dns server and save the settings this will give you the better bandwidth and will allow you to access the network so thank you guys hope you enjoyed the video bye